I got myself some underwear here. <gasps> Would you like to see what kind of underwear I'm wearing? Of course you would. It's kind of lacy. I hope you like it lacy. Hey, YouTube kiddies. It's Kathy Cat. And today was the first time that I've been interviewing in Harajuku for almost two years. And needless to say, because we're still in a pandemic, it was super tough. It was hard. So I decided to do retail therapy. And on the way back from Harajuku, really, 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 really went overboard with the shopping because I need to soothe my soul. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna have to have a look at what kind of items I got and uh, shopped a lot. So this is gonna be super fun. I went to Harajuku, guess what I got? A lot of stuff. Guess what you thought, so you're right. <laughs> well, it all actually started with the director looking at my shoes and saying, Kasi, you need better shoes. I've had these shoes for a while. I know they've taken some damage. They've taken some serious damage. This amount of uh, sole is, is perfect without me getting too tired, but he was right. They're starting to look a little bit sad at this point in time. So right after the shoot, I went to CSTP, this store here, where I actually get the majority of my shoes from. There's a lot of shoes that don't really quite fit me and my feet. Their shoes actually don't hurt and they're really cute. CS casual shoes, T and P. I only wanted to get one pair to replace that white pair. Needless to say, this doesn't look like one pair. Da -da! This was the pair that McCold my eyes first and I had to show it to you. Look at this pair, isn't this adorable? I was actually wearing lavender today and this one matched perfectly. It has a really nice, like a little bit of a plateau so my feet won't look so flat and it's closed and, <laughs> and I will be able to wear even warmer socks if I'm doing this in winter. And it has like some sparkly bits on here. How cute is this? So it's kind of like Harajuku, yahoy, yahey. It's like happy, happy shoes and they're actually super light. was the fashion police calling they were like what's wrong with these white shoes do you have been wearing them for way too long kathy cat nah -uh. yeah we couldn't find any white shoes at all hmm. yes i'm blaming this all on the director mm -hmm. so i saw one in pink that was gorgeous it has a kind of larm k feel to it too like alarm girls and i was like this so cute so cute again uh not too much heel like on the back um kind of comfy like has the sort of the sole gives you a little bit of a squish there's some squishy squish in the sole so i was like this is actually really good but they didn't have that in my size so they let me try m in the red the moment she pulled out red i knew it was love at first sight because the red so pretty the red was so beautiful <gasps> And I didn't want to have red shoes, but these red shoes were so pretty. I mean, look at this. And they actually fit me better in L. Turns out they had the pink shoes in L too. So guess what happened here? How did I end up buying two pairs of shoes? I just wanted one pair of white shoes. These ones are so cute. Oh, and the red ones will already fit perfectly to the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Oh, so good. But this one, it seems like it's going to be easy to coordinate with quite a lot of things. So also because of the material, good for rainy days. So I still need a pair of white shoes that would work with Lita fashion, right? So I know another place where the shoes will actually fit me and my big foreign feet. I went to Bodyline and guess what I bought? Probably more than just shoes is what you thought. And that's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Actually, Bodyline is doing a 40% off sale right now before Christmas. They just started it yesterday, so I was like, oh. So, I got myself some underwear here. <gasps> would you like to see what kind of underwear I'm wearing? <gasps> of course you would. Let's unbox it together. It's kind of lacy. I hope you like it lacy. Lace, 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 fur, 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 da, 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 da. Bloomers! <laughs> yes, 
This is the Lolita underwear. Of course, we still wear our other underwear underneath this, but then we cover it up with these ones here called bloomers. That is kind of the uh, modesty version of underwear in the old days. And uh, like we girls still wear it under our Lolita fashion. So if, for example, if we wear a hoop skirt or similar things, it's kind of like a hoop skirt. It's literally like someone lifting up our skirt, right? So people don't see your knickers. We protect our knickers with these ones. So these ones here are Lolita underwear. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is all little underwear. Where did that voice come from? <clears throat> I have this one before and I actually needed a new one because I was wearing a kind of newish red dress and it kind of discolored on top of my bloomers and I haven't managed to get it out. Just the color run was really bad. So need a new pair. Got a new pair. Very strong elastic. But again, this is not what I came there for. I came for shoes. There's something more in here than shoes. How can that be? So there's a new my staff member and she was super sweet. And she recommended me this one. She said this is the pair that she generally wears quite a lot. I tried this on, I needed an L size in this one. It's kind of tight, it, but it does stretch a little bit over time. But the most amazing thing is it comes with an extra pair of white lace, which means I might be able with this pair to repair at least the lace of my old pair and see maybe if I can make my old pair a little bit more wearable in case I need it. White heel as well, which I did appreciate. Like the other shoes, they had a black heel, right? So white shoes, white heel. I love these kind of Asian buns that you sometimes see in anime and they had them in white and they had them in pink. They're like 1,000 yen each, so which means 500, almost right, 500, 600 yen. And I hope they're gonna be good. They only have one pin here, so I'm not sure how good and how realistic they're gonna look if you pin them onto your head, but I thought they're like extra little neat accessories. The next one, I got a blonde and pink wig, which is called like a strawberry blonde wig, and it's like a bob, and I thought it looked really cute, so I'm gonna see if I can somehow maybe cut it or just wear it as a short wig. I prefer my short wigs recently. It's just a little bit less hassle. Next, I went to ACDC Rack, which are known for their Harajuku fashion, and what they usually do once a year is a design contest in which artists can submit their artwork for a chance to have it on their t-shirts, and guess what? One of the kittens that was watching me, B for Potato, won the contest twice. She managed to win it just sheerly by the amazingness of her skill. And I've seen her t-shirts before and uh, I wanted my own. Before I show you those, I'll show you the accessories I got. They had like these chokers with the little, with tassels on. And I thought I've never seen a choker with a tassel like this. Very clever idea. It was only 220 yen. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I think so. It is really hard recently to find cute socks to match with all my dresses. So this one here is a nice pastely one. And when I was wearing my dress, I realized I didn't really quite have the fitting socks for this either. So this one was the one to go. Go, oh, oh yes. Look, this is how it's gonna look in the future. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, come on. This leg is kicking. It's kicking guys, it's kicking. I'm not sure why it's kicking, it's kicking. So B for Potato, shout out to B for Potato, awesome artist who won the ACD Rack contest twice or even three times, girl, let me know. Um, the t-shirt that I first saw when I came into the store was this one here. It's a lot of little bunnies and two cute girls floating around in bunny space. Some of these bunnies are actually wearing little space helmets too, so who knows. Lots and lots of bunnies and there's two girls, oh three, three on the back floating around. I assume it's probably the same girl and I just like that this is a full-on print. It's on the front and it's on the back and there's just so much going on. You got so much, so much happening and I thought this might be really nice for maybe a Twitch stream or something where you just see the top of mine. So it has like a lot of, a lot of colors and something funny to spot when you uh, look at it. And the second t-shirt da -da -da -da, says in big letters, Oishi, which means tasty. And I remember this one because it had different girls with different fruit floating all over, all over the t-shirt. Again, it's such a fun pop print. It has so much power. Like usually I wear a lot of pastels, so I don't really wear the, you know, rainbow colors in that same kind of way. So I was thinking about it a little bit if I have anything to coordinate this with. But in the end, I just really, really liked her style and I wanted to support this girl because she's already done an amazing artwork for me too for my 10 years YouTube anniversary. And it's this one here. 
It is one of my absolute favorites. Like I keep looking at it and I love it so much. So girl, thank you so much for being one of the many, many amazing artists who took part in my 10 year YouTube anniversary. Ta-da! Hey! That works really well. Oh my gosh. New shoes, new tops, new accessories, and new blue seal socks, which will get along really, really well with my Family Mart socks. Da -da 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 be sure to check out that video and find out why all foreigners are crazy about Family Mart socks these days.